trauma impacts the way you think, and losing confidence is one of the many negative consequences of it. Regaining your confidence is an important step in regaining your self-respect and self-worth. Confidence can best be described as certainty with regards to a particular course of action, especially in terms of how effective or successful it will be. Confidence also refers to the trustworthiness of a thing, place, person, or idea. Not everything can be relied upon. Not everything you come across in your life can be blindly trusted. Like good deals, not everything comes with a guarantee. This is where confidence comes into the picture. The level of confidence one has in something is displayed by how quickly you adopt its usage. Confidence signifies reliability. It shows how much goodwill a particular thing has been able to garner over a period of time. The more the positive impact of something is felt, the more confident you become about it. Being confident in yourself includes the power of self-belief, having the courage to assert your claims and go on to successfully achieve them is one form of self-confidence. Confidence also involves having faith in your beliefs. A belief is an idea that you think to be either true or possible or both. When you believe in an idea, you automatically extend your individual support to it, regardless of how flawed it may be. You have full faith in the idea and exclude all other options. A belief can be based on convictions that arise when you've gained experience. Experience comes from failures, and failures happen when you try. It all comes back to trying. If you don't even attempt something, you stand to gain no confidence. If you're content with shutting yourself down in a cocoon of your own, isolated from the harsh world, you don't get harmed, but you don't gain anything either. So unless you take a jump, you'll never know how deep the water is. It's a sign of courage to seek to gain confidence. People with low self-confidence can always start in the direction of achieving it. It's never too late. It is, again, not enough to simply wish for confidence. You will have to work for it. Improving through confidence. A confident man is an evolving man. Confidence reflects well on your personality. If you're a confident man, you'll make the smartest of choices. You won't stand back from making bold choices. Choices that aren't generally preferred. While others are busy taking the safest of routes, you'll be walking on the road not taken. This will add to your personality and differentiate you from others. Confidence instills in you the desire to try. Many an opportunity is lost because they're never attempted. If you refrain from even opening the door, how will you ever know what lies beyond it? A confident person never restricts himself from anything. It's trying alone that separates the winner from the also-rans. There were numerous thinkers in the era of Newton, but it was Isaac who ended up discovering the laws of gravity because he was confident enough to try a different approach. Man has always loved exploring. The desire for exploration has its base in confidence. If Columbus hadn't been confident enough to find a bigger and better land, the world wouldn't have known the United States as it is today. He put his life in peril and sailed across the seas to discover the land we all know today as the superpower of the world. Confidence, therefore, helps a man move ahead by exploring. Exploration is the human desire to know and find more. It's this wish that has led him to stumble upon chance discoveries and great inventions. Confidence installs the folder of courage in a person's system. It pushes a person to look beyond the established boundaries and lay down rules. If you're confident, you have the guts to keep the flag up and flying. You won't let down those expecting great things from you.